Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. Number 26. How much would it cost per month to rent rectangular offices that measure 20 by 30 feet if the cost per square foot per month is $8? So in this case, the first thing, we're finally moving away from these perimeter questions and moving into area questions. Now, this is a little bit different because this means we're no longer looking around the outside. We're looking at the area that fills up this rectangle. In this case, this is a 20 by 30 feet. Now, if we're finding area of a rectangle, you do the length times the width. So in this case, we're doing 20 times 30. Well, the two times three is gonna give me six, and then we have the two zeros for 600. So the area of this rectangle is 600. Now we know that it's gonna be $8 per square foot. Well, we have 600 square feet here, so we have to multiply that by eight. So eight times zero is zero, we got another zero, and then eight times six is 48. So I got four eight out front. This is gonna be the total cost per month of this space. So if I look here, that looks like we're looking at answer B, 4,800. Number 27 on the ASVAB, what is the cost of putting grass seed on a 480 square yard field if a bag of grass seed covers 60 square yards and costs $7.45? Now I know in previous videos, sometimes it jumps back and forth between feet and yards. Sometimes I catch that, sometimes I don't. In this case, we have yards and yards, so we're good to go. And on this one, we don't even have to find the area. It tells us that there's 480 square yards in this field. So we gotta find out how many bags of 60 square yards would it take to cover that. So essentially we're dividing this guy by 60. Well, six goes into 48 eight times and the zeros will go in. So it's actually just gonna be eight. 60 times eight will give us 480, all right? So now we know we need eight bags. Well, guess what? It's 745 per bag. So I have seven. 45 and we are going to be multiplying that by our eight because we have eight bags of that so we got to pay for each bag so let's just do this the long way because we don't have a calculator for the asvab eight times the five is going to be 40 carry the four eight times four is 32 with four more is going to give me 36 bring that three up eight times seven is going to give me 56 plus that three is going to be 50 Nine. Now we do have two numbers up to the decimal, so we have to move it over twice, meaning our final answer here should be $59.60, which it does look like is answer D. Janet wants to carpet a 12 by 15 feet rectangular room. So we got 12 by 15 here. If the carpet costs $11.50 per square yard, how much will it cost her to carpet the room? So here's why everyone's getting this wrong. Notice it says 12 by 15 feet. And just like the ASVAB likes to do, this says yards. So they don't really mention it right off, like make sure to convert or anything like that. You have to catch the fact that it says feed, catch the fact that it says yard, and make sure you convert somewhere in there. You can do that in the very beginning by converting these to yards, or you can do it in the very end by converting your square feet into square yards. I think it's a little bit easier to deal with it up front, so let's go ahead and knock that out. 12 divided by three, because there's three feet in the yard, is gonna give us four, and 15 divided divided by three, again, three feet in the yard, is gonna give us five. So this is a four by five yard room. So four times five is gonna give me an area of 20. We did four times five because area is length times width. So this means that we have 20 square yards in this room. Well, it's 1150 per square yard. So we're gonna take this 20 and we're going to multiply it by that 1150. So we got 1150 here. We're multiplying that by our 20. So we got the zero comes down, and then we just gotta multiply everything by two. So two times the zero, zero, two times five is gonna give us 10. We got our zero, we wanna do that. Um, we got two times one is two, plus that is gonna give us three. And then we have two times the one, which is just two. And then we gotta make sure to move our decimal place over twice, which we technically had a zero here from the first one, so that's gonna put us right here. Meaning our final answer should be $230, which is answer A. Sorry I ran out of space there with the multiplication. Number 29 says, George bowls three games. His scores are 222, 208, and 197. Pretty good bowler. 
what was his average score for the three games? So remember, average is one of our three measures of center, mean, median, mode, average is the mean. This is the one where you add your numbers together and then divide by how many numbers you have. Now there's a bunch of other tricks that may make you move a little bit faster through this, but let's go ahead and go through just the old fashioned way first of doing adding the three together and then dividing that by three. So these would be our three guys here, all right? In this case, I'm gonna go ahead right off the bat, let's just go seven and two is nine plus another eight is gonna be 17, carry the one. Then we have nine and that one will make 10, plus two more would be 12, carry the one. And then we have two, three, four, five, six, for 627. Now if we divide this by three, 27 divided by three is nine, and this six divided by three would be two. So we have 209. So that means our final answer here is D. Now there is some other ways you can do this where you're like balancing out saying, okay, 208's in the middle, let's add some here and to go the, the other way. But that's more of like balancing a scale and because there's only three numbers you could do that this way here. Um, so mess around, see what you think is easiest. But our final answer here is gonna be D, 209. Number 30 on the ASVAB says a baseball stadium has 1,350 box seats. It has 3,527 reserve seats. It has 2,007 general admission seats and 4,275 bleacher seats. Now, what is the total number of seats in this entire stadium? So in reality here, we're just adding all of these guys together. So this should not be something that's all that difficult, but remember you don't have a calculator here, so you do have to do it by hand. Looking through here, seven plus seven is 14, plus another five is 19, carry the one. Now notice all of these have nine, so nothing's been eliminated yet. Next off, we have seven, two, and one would give us 10, plus another five would give us 15, carry the one. Well, that eliminates C because that has a four in that place. So now we're looking at our next one here. We have five, three, and two, which is going to add up to 10, plus that one more will give us 11, carry the one. So now looking at it, we're eliminating A because that had the zero there. And then our next one we're going to do here is four and one will give us five, three and two will give us five for another 10, plus that one we carried to give us 11. So it looks like our final answer here is going to end up being D. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.